Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy work? Somebody must do it, so I gotta do it. Who said it was easy work? Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Y'all already know the most hot and woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great, you know what I'm saying? But let me show y'all what it look like out here, man. You know what I'm saying? We got another one, man. So if you're looking at that, I want y'all to know that y'all winning. Y'all blessed. So make sure y'all get out there and have y'all a good one, man. Have y'all a productive day, man. Because the most high didn't bless us this morning for no reason. Just for us to get up and get out there and be ignorant. Just for us to get up and get out there and be stagnant. You know, just for us to get up and get out there and do nothing with our time. Nah, we can't be on that. Y'all already know we can't be on that. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all have a good one, man. I'm sweating my ass off. I just had a good one in this gym this morning, you know? You know, it was Liddy. It was Liddy. Uh, who am I kidding? My workout's always late. I'm going to start taping them at some point, man. But, you know, I just be too pressed for time, man. I be too pressed for time, man. It's, you know, it be rocking too. I ain't got time to be setting up tripods and doing all that shit while traffic and all that up in there, man. It's just like, man, I just want to get my workout done so I can get the hell out of here, you know. Kudos, you know what I mean, to those that can do that, that got time to do that. One day, I'm going to have my own private gym. Y'all think I'm bullshit. I'm going to have my own private gym in the crib. And I ain't saying that it's going to be in some luxury mansion or anything. I don't care if that motherfucker in the garage, excuse my language, you know. But I'm going to have my own gym. And I'll probably be doing something like that. You know what I mean? But either way, man, I just want to holler at y'all, man. Give y'all a quick reminder, man, to continue to watch your gaze. Continue to watch your gaze. Watch what you're looking at. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we already know it's a lot to see out here. <laughs> no matter where you go, there's a lot to see. So, you know, you got to watch your gaze, meaning watch what you be looking at, man. You know, don't be staring down some of these half-naked chicks that's out here looking for attention you know, watch what you're looking at on social media. Watch all of that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Why, I mean, don't watch it, but, like, don't look at it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just watch. Because you could you could kind of notice yourself. Like, sometimes you don't even know that you kind of gazing at something. You know what I mean? Until it's, you know, too late. And you're like, whoa, whoa. You know what I mean? What am I doing? You know what I'm saying? And that's all I see when I go to places like the gym you know, grocery stores, work, stuff like that. Anytime it's a woman around, man, you know, we already know dudes don't know how to act, bro. You know what I'm saying? So they have no idea what we mean by watching our gaze. You know what I mean? Watch what we paying attention to. Watch what we staring at. You know what I mean? Because we don't need nothing to take us off path. We don't need nothing that's going to take our mind into places where it just don't need to be. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I be so many people just losing focus out here. That's why I be so many people that's out here lusting. You know what I mean? Because they don't know how to do it, bro. These women, they get around and they just lose all concentration. You know what I mean? They lose all focus. They lose all will. They don't even want to do nothing no more because they didn't seen the ass so fat. Because they didn't seen a girl so beautiful. You know what I mean? They just don't even don't even know what to do with they self, bro. And you know, when you think about it, it's just like, bro, like, you know, it's, it's, it's lame. You know what I mean? It's lame and it's like, bro, you know, you got to get some control about yourself, man. Because if you letting that take you off track, bro, man, you're going to be distracted by everything out here. If you can't keep your focus. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to, like, call people out or nothing, man, because I know how it is. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said sometimes you can find yourself gazing, gazing at something and you don't even realize it, bro. Before you know it, you know, you having these thoughts, man. So you just got to you just gotta really, like, pay attention. You know, just pay attention sometimes, man, you know, to what you're looking at, bro. Watch your eyes. Watch your gaze, you know, because you just turn around. Everywhere you turn around, bro, it's ass. Everywhere you turn around, is beautiful women. Everywhere you turn around is, you know, you, you got females looking for attention, bro. 
And that's just the type of time that they own right now, bro. These women are getting desperate. You know what I mean? Not all of them, but a, but a good amount of them. That's why they wearing that shit, bro. That's why they wearing them coochie cutters. You know what I'm saying? That's why they got their breast all out. You know what I mean? That's why they got their ass all out and all of that. That's why, you know what I mean? But then they gonna, you know, they even be on social media trying to give messages and shit like that. Like, okay, you know, I, I hear the I hear the wisdom and the message and all that, but you know why why you know why you gotta be half naked while you do it? You know why you gotta have on why you gotta be all glammed up to do it? You know what I'm saying? So what is this about? Is this about the message or is this about you know you know getting attention from us? You know, because it's starting to seem like most of it is about getting attention from us, you know, and, you know, you're going to have some people say, ah, oh, you know, they just do it for them, blah, blah, blah. I get it. You know what I mean? You want to look good. That's fine. But, you know, I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. So we got to be more conscious of what we looking at, what we staring at, what we gazing at, what we watching out here. You know what I'm saying? Because we need to watch. We need to keep our eyes on our own prize. You know what I'm saying? We need to keep our eyes on our own blessings. You know what I'm saying? Not the blessings that these women got because, you know, they are a blessing. You know what I mean? But but damn, you know what I'm saying? Conceal that. You know, these women don't want to do it, bro. It ain't even no, it ain't no secrecy these days. Like I said yesterday, bro, it ain't nothing. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna be, it ain't not, ain't nothing gonna be a surprise to us no more. Like, you know, when you have to put in work, you know what I mean? To get to see the goodies, get to touch the goodies and all of that. Nah, bro, you get to see the goodies without even having to put in any work. You know what I'm saying? And that's what make it more dangerous for your journey, bro, because that's what they out here doing. They trying to lure you in, but you got so many suckers that's taking the bait. You know what I mean? Whether they in a relationship or not. So they taking this bait and they losing everything. They taking this bait and they getting set up. They taking this bait and they falling off. They taking this bait and then finding themselves with them lustful demons inside of them because they don't know how to act. They ain't got no control. They ain't watching their gaze. They looking at everything. They easily distracted. They easily lost out here. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. Must just get easily lost. You know what I mean? Who remember that part in Goodfellas when, when he called, uh, oh boy, a dizzy motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? When Joe Pesci called, oh boy, dizzy because he was confused. He like, bro, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Put the coffee down, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all familiar with it, but you dizzy motherfucker. <laughs> Some of these mugs get dizzy quick. They get dizzy quick. Soon as a chick come around, they get dizzy. Soon as they see some ass, they get dizzy. Soon as they see some titties, they get dizzy. Soon as they're around that feminine feminine energy, they get dizzy. You know what I'm saying? Like they gonna pass out. Like they get to, they get to, you know what I mean? Mother get woozy like they just got hit by Floyd Mayweather or something. Mother get woozy like Tyson just gave him an uppercut. You know what I mean? Now they weak in the knees. Weak in the knees. I can hardly speak. I lose all control. SWV ass niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all must get weak in the knees when these females come around. And it's a shame, bro. We can't be like that, man. You know, ain't nothing masculine about that, bro. Masculine men gonna stay focused no matter what. Masculine men gonna stay on their business. Masculine men gonna know. They gonna act like they didn't seen women before. They gonna act like they didn't have women before. Because guess what, bro? They in their masculine energy and they working hard to attract things in their life. They, they not working hard to go out there and chase things. That's the big difference between high-value masculine men and, and suckers, simps, beta males. They want to just go chase after something rather than attract it. You know, they rather just gawk at these women rather than stay focused. You know what I'm saying? They rather trick on these women instead of just tricking on their sales and tricking on their future and tricking on their come up. You know what I'm saying? So they can elevate out here. Instead, they're going to dish it out to the world. They're going to dish their energy out to the world. They're going to dish their time and attention out to the world. They're going to dish their life force energy out to the, to the world and shit. They're going to give it all, all the way for the free and get nothing back. <laughs> And that's a damn shame. Mugs is ready too. They ready. Mugs out here hustling just to give it back to the world instead of putting it to themselves. But Mugs putting all this, all this hard work and hours. You know what I'm saying? In at their job. 
in at the gym, in, you know what I'm saying, just in on all this stuff just to give it back, just to give it to some women, just to support these women, just to support addiction, just to support their bad habits, man. And it's just like, we just got to get out of that mind frame. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been there, man, and this it sucks. You know what I'm saying? When you giving the world everything but giving yourself nothing. You know what I mean? But you call yourself doing it for you. But you're not really doing it for you when you the one losing your energy. When you the one busting and wasting the nuts. You know what I'm saying? On chicks that ain't worthy. On porn that ain't worthy. You know what I'm saying? On people that ain't worthy, bro. You the one that's losing out, but you think you're getting something. And that's the that's the that's the that's the smoke and mirrors right there. That's the deceit. That's the deceit that the devil put out there, bro. The devil wants you to think that you getting something, that you gaining something by chasing these women. You know what I'm saying? But all you get is a nut. So guess what? You didn't lost so much time, so much money. You know what I mean? So much focus. <clears throat> So much that you could have been putting in on yourself, could have been putting in on your purpose, time you could have been giving to the most high to, to, to gain wisdom, you know what I mean? To, to learn the laws, learn the ways, learn the statutes and all of that. So you could have a prosperous life, but no, you rather give it to alcohol. You rather give it to substance. You rather give it to social media. You rather give it to succubus women. You rather give it to pornography. You rather give it to poisonous food. You rather give it to being unhealthy. You rather give it to your job. You gonna give every, like I said, you give everything out that way. You gonna give them everything, but give yourself nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because God is love. If you're not giving, if you're not giving grace to the Most High, love to the Most High, attention to the Most High, then and, and you giving it to all this other stuff, you can't expect to be blessed, bro. You can't expect to be blessed. You giving everybody else everything, but the Most High nothing, but yourself nothing, but the people that mean the most to you nothing. Nothing, but you got people running around think that they gonna be big blessed, thinking that they out here winning. Because they got a few dollars in their account, bro. You losing. You know what I'm saying? You losing. You losing spiritually out here, bro. You know what I mean? You losing mentally out here, bro. Your priorities are not straight. You know what I mean? But people focus so much around money, but don't even realize that it's so much disarray in other categories in their life that, you know what I mean? That, that That's just going unnoticed by people. So when that's why you think women end up so screwed when they mess with dudes that got money. They 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 just pay attention to the money. You know what I mean? And you got some of these groupy ass niggas out here that's pocket watching, paying attention to other other people's money too, other dudes' money too. Like some lame ass motherfuckers, but they ain't focused on themselves. But they paying attention to other people with money so much that they wanna follow in their footsteps or they wanna hate on them. Or you know what I'm saying? They want to chase money they self and not work on anything else. And then find they self in a hole. Find they self in a bind. Find they self out here losing. Find they self out here addicted. And don't even know why. Don't even know why they messed up. Bro, I could tell you why you messed up. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't have no, you don't, you don't, you ain't got no other, you ain't got nothing else going for you, bro. You think you think that this worldly stuff is gonna save you, but it ain't. You know what I'm saying? You think that this worldly stuff is going to rescue you, but it ain't. You know what I mean? No, we need to get rich in the spiritual realm, bro. You know what I'm saying? We need to be, but we need those blessings. We don't need the blessings of the devil. We don't need the blessings of this world. You know what I'm saying? Because when you seek the blessings from the most high, bro, all this other stuff, like I tell you all the time, it's going to come as a bonus. These is just add-ons, bro. But the number one blessings is the one you will receive from your father, fool. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a dummy out here, man. I know we get so caught up into seeing these lifestyles and to seeing people live their best life and to seeing these celebrities and to seeing these women and all of that. But we got to stay focused, bro. You know what I mean? As you can see, there's a lot going on. There's a bigger war going on in the spiritual realm and in this world. You know what I'm saying? So you got to realize what's happening, bro. You got to start focusing on your spirits, bro. You got to start getting your relationship with the most high right. You know what I mean? You got to start getting yourself right inside. Because if that ain't right, you ain't got that spiritual armor on. When everything hit the fan, when everything take off, bro. Listen, you're going to be ish out of luck. You're going to be ish out of luck. You know what I'm saying? You thought, you thought the money was going to say you. You can't take none of this crap with you. 
You thought your cars was gonna say you can't take none of that crap with you. You thought them hoes was gonna say you can't take none of them hoes with you. You thought your jewelry and all of that, your apartment, your house, all of these worldly things was gonna say you, but you can't take none of that with you. The most high don't care about that. The most high don't care about that. The devil use a lot of these things to get you caught more into this matrix so you could be lost. You know what I'm saying? So you could be out here greedy. So you could be out here envious uh, 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 envious and, and jealous of the next and continuing to chase after them instead of chasing the most high. Instead of chasing after wisdom, bro. And it's just that's a part of it. And that's why you see so much happening right now. You know what I mean? So we just can't get caught up into that. So watch your gaze, bro. These are just distractions out here. You know what I mean? Pay attention to you. Pay attention to your spirit. Pay attention to your heart. Pay attention to your mind. Pay attention to your soul. Pay attention to the most high and the messages that he trying to send you. It's, it's really vital in these times. All right? And that's my word, man. My name is Jay Sin, the Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy work? Somebody must do it, so I gotta do it. Who said it was easy work?